opened one recently. Welcome back to our kitchen. It is a weekly Aldi grocery run like we pretty much always do every Sunday to stack up on produce and dairy and any other items that we want for the week. I do bulk buy our meat from ButcherBox and then we buy a lot from Azure Standard as well. So we do use things from those places for our meals for the week, but this is kind of the rest of the items. We will start here with the whole milk. So I got two of the organic whole milk and those were $3.79 a piece. And then two of the Starbucks caramel macchiato drinks. Those are $6.24 a piece. And then um, if you watch my other videos, you know I get chocolate milk pretty much every single week. And that chocolate milk was $1.76. We have a lot of lunches out um, this week. My husband needs to pack cold lunches for work and my daughter has to pack cold lunches for dance. And so we got a lot of items to have for lunches. I got two things of this honey uncured ham. They are one pound packages and I got two of them. I don't know that they'll both be used this week, but they've been out of them when we've been going. So I wanted to just grab them now. They are $4.75 a piece. So everyone will kind of eat sandwiches using that. And then my husband picked out the macaroni salad for some of his lunches this week at $3.75. Oftentimes he brings leftovers and then I make lunch for the kids at home, but he won't be able to microwave food this week So he needs to have things he can just have cold um, So he got that macaroni salad both kids got a lunchable and the lunchables are $2.97 um, My daughter will pack hers for dance and then my son will just eat it at home But since she was getting one and made wanted to make sure I made it fair and let him get one We really like this um, Simply Nature Mild Salsa from Aldi for $2.49. I couldn't remember if we had any, so I just went ahead and grabbed another one just so that way we'd have it. Uh, this chicken Caesar salad is something my daughter will bring um, for her cold lunch one of the days, and that is $2.89. And then she asked if we could get these Danimal yogurt drinks. And so I said, yes, those are $5.37. Personally, I think they're kind of a ripoff, but um, she can pack them in her lunch as well. And then some sliced pepper jack cheese. We have a lot of Monterey Jack cheese, but my son likes pepper jack cheese for his sandwiches and his burgers. So we went ahead and grabbed one of those. And that is $1.29. I got some of their sweet corn. I'm not exactly sure what day we'll have this, but I typically try to do it earlier in the week because this corn does not last very long since it already has been shucked. And that is $2.49 for the four of them, but it's been working out well for us. I actually haven't seen any good corn in the store aside from these ones, and I like that I don't have to sit there and peel it back in the store to see if it looks good. I can just grab one that looks good. And then we got some uh, mini sweet peppers. My daughter will eat those in her lunches. And those sweet peppers were $2.85. I also got a thing of just the multicolor peppers, the three pack. And those, I'm not exactly sure what we'll do with them, but I will use them for dinner one night this week. And that was $2.59. I got a head of cauliflower for $2.89. My plan is just to cut that up and eat that raw as a snack. I'll make some homemade honey mustard, and I love honey mustard um, dressing with raw cauliflower. And then we got some strawberries. They were $1.89. I was super disappointed in their strawberries. They don't have them in the refrigerator section, and so they're just sitting out at room temperature, and they're ripening super, super quickly, and a lot of them look like they were going to be moldy within just a few hours. So I only got one of them that we'll probably just eat up today so that way it doesn't go bad. They had their broccoli crowns which are $1.55 a pound and I had 1.15 pounds um, and so it was $1.78 for that. And we got some bananas. This is 1.71 pounds at 73 cents a pound for $1.25. And then my husband got a salad kit. Um, this is the Thai, uh, Thai cashew salad kit for $2.99. That is something he will eat one day for lunch. He'll just throw some sort of meat on top of that. 
we got two pineapples and the pineapples were a dollar and 95 the one i got last week wasn't super great so i'm hoping this will be better and then we got um a cucumber so one seedless cucumber and again we can use those in cold lunches and or with um like the cauliflower for snacks with honey mustard dressing and that was 95 cents we got a thing of green onions because I want to make these lettuce wraps this week because we got lettuce at Costco and that is on a different video but the green onions were 95 cents and then I got another cantaloupe it was $1.99 I have one still sitting from last week because I had cut one up and it wasn't quite ripe enough or soft enough yet so I let the other one sit there so I will cut that one up soon and just replace this one and let this one sit for a few days and um, I found that works best for the flavor so uh, $1.99 and then we've got some hash browns this is not my preference I actually prefer to get the diced hash browns from Azure but because I had to change drops I can't get anything frozen right now or cold until it's cold enough outside because I can't be there when the truck comes so it has to sit outside so for now this is what I'm just gonna have to do and the hash browns were $3.39 we got a thing of frozen green beans for $2.29 and then a thing of broccoli florets and those were $1.85. Got two more things of the dog ice cream. We're just going to put this away. Our dog can't have it right now, but they were $1.79, which is a really good deal. They were like two something before. And so I'm going to just put them in the freezer and we even had some from last summer recently and the dogs did I mean, it was fine. And then we got these mini fruit coated bars. My daughter wanted those, so she grabbed those, and they were $4.49. I got a dozen of the pasture-raised eggs for $4.99. This is my preference of egg, and last time they only had the white eggs, so I was glad that they had them back. Then we're going to go down here, and we've got a can of their baked beans, which are really good. I We've been really pleased with them, so I grabbed another can of those because those are always good with hamburgers or hot dogs. Those were $1.85, and then I got another thing of ketchup. It's $1.95. I think we opened up another one, so I just like to keep a good stock of that because we go through quite a bit of ketchup. I got another thing of the pinto beans for $0.99. Cents. Those are just good for when we have Tex-Mex nights and then I got four things of mini muffins we got two of the cinnamon crunch and then two of the cotton candy kind and those were $2.75 a piece so a total of four boxes of those um, a thing of the toaster tarts which is just their version of pop tarts that one's $1.97 and then they have the s'mores ones uh, $3.93 each so that's crazy that this box is $1.97 and that one is $3.93, but they don't have s'mores flavor in the Aldi brand. Otherwise, I would be getting that instead. A uh, thing of Rice Krispie Treats, or Rice Krispies to make Rice Krispie Treats, uh, $1.95 for the box. And then I got two of their chocolate bars. These are the kinds that I like, the Crunchy Caramel Sea Salt and the Honey Salted Almond. And the candy bars are $2.49. My daughter got this facial cleanser tool. She's going to pay us back, but it was $7.99. So it comes with a variety of different heads. Um, I don't know, she's super into skincare stuff. So she was pretty excited about that for $7.99. And then I got two things of marshmallows, the regular and the mini, because I used um, the regular size to make the Rice Krispie Treats. And then I just mixed in a little bit of these ones as it was starting to cool down. And they were like the best Rice Krispie Treats ever. So I got those. I got a thing of the honey wheat bread for $1.75. Oh, the marshmallows. I don't think I said how much the marshmallows were. The marshmallows were $1.09 each. Um, the honey wheat bread, $1.75. English muffins are $1.45. The Hawaiian rolls, which we got two packages of them, are $2.69. And these are, again, for sandwiches this week for people who need to bring some cold lunches. And then I got the brioche hot dog buns for $3.29 and the sesame brioche hamburger buns for $3.99 uh, just because we have hamburgers and hot dogs. So just have that stuff on hand. So in total, we spent $160.10, which I really didn't want to spend that much this week because we did spend a lot at Costco, but 
these are things that we'll go through and eat and so just have to to do it so anyways that is everything we got this time i will see you on the next one